Hello everyone, and welcome again to my channel. This time I wanted to talk about some issues that have been going on within the community of those who are making videos to expose the truth about the Watchtower. And this, of course, centers around the recent ban that has been imposed in Russia. Now, I made a video about my opinion of the ban, and others have made videos of their opinions as well. However, some individuals that make videos about their opinions um, also go above and beyond making their videos. They essentially try to impose their opinion on other people. One individual made a chart which basically asserted that if you agreed with the ban that you actually also actively wanted to see Jehovah's Witnesses imprisoned and tortured and beaten and raped, which is not true. And he basically made a flowchart saying that if you agreed with the ban that you should seek professional help. Uh, that certainly is not a very good way to go about argumentation. Now, we all spend years, perhaps decades, as Jehovah's Witnesses. And the Watchtower utilized tactics exactly like what this individual's using. Their whole mentality of, you agree with us or you're wrong, is black and white thinking. It's something that's very common to high control groups. And also something that's very common to high control groups is demonizing people that disagree with you. It was not possible to disagree with the, with the governing body without being under the influence of Satan. And you either, the, the Watchtower always said you're either serving Jehovah or you're serving Satan. So they were very black and white. They demonized people that disagreed with them. And some individuals that leave the cult may still have some of this, some of these traits that perhaps they picked up in the cult or perhaps it's things in their personality. Um, so regardless of whether or not you agree with the ban, everybody is entitled to their opinion on the subject. Those of us who left, we indeed are a community of uh, former Jehovah's Witnesses, if you will, people who have survived the Watchtower, people who are awake. But being in that community does not mean that we're all going to agree with each other. It doesn't mean that we're all going to like each other. It just means that we have something in common. Um, and those of us who are making videos, who are trying to get the truth out there, uh, also have a common goal, and that is to um, enlighten people about the realities of what the Watchtower does. So that being the case, if we do that and we decide that you have to totally agree with a certain viewpoint, well, basically we're slipping back into the mindset uh, of a cult. And we might be using the tactics of a cult. And doing this essentially re-victimizes people that have been victimized by the Watchtower. It certainly is not a healthy thing to do. Um, it's an issue that is abusive, and uh, it's not a good thing to utilize the abusive tactics of the Watchtower to try and expose the Watchtower for what it is. This is one enemy that we cannot become like them in our fight against them. We cannot allow ourselves to stoop to their level. We can never use the same abusive tactics that they do. And the reason I personally make these videos is because I want people to not be abused by that system. Uh, if individuals truly enjoy being Jehovah's Witnesses, that's, that's their call. I'm not going to take an issue with it. But what I want people to do is I want them to be fully um, aware of the realities of what that system is. And I... Uh, you cannot do that by being abusive in your presentation. So, every now and then, issues seem to come up in the community of those of us who are making videos. Uh, this bothers a lot of people, because we would all like to think that everyone's going to get along together, everyone's going to be fine and play nice, uh, and it's disturbing when that doesn't happen. Uh, but the reality is that some of us still have some things to work through, some of us may not even realize that we're utilizing traits of the cult. And individuals have basically been called little cult leaders, or they've been, it's been said that they act as if they're defending the watchtower in their actions. And the reason people are making those statements is because those individuals are utilizing the exact same tactics that the watchtower uses. And re-victimizing people who have already been victims is not an acceptable tactic. If people disagree with you, that's fine. Everyone's always free to disagree with me. All I care about doing is presenting information. And I would hope that everybody else will do the same, but the reality is that does not seem to happen. So, 
And that's just something I wanted to say, is, is we're living our lives. Uh, keep in mind that some individuals who have woken up may still have things in their personality that they call planted in there really deep, and they may not even realize that they're doing that. Or there may be other issues there, I don't know. But when we come across individuals that basically assert that if we don't agree with them that we're mentally ill, um, those may be individuals that we don't want to engage with on that kind of level. Because being abusive is, is not helpful, it's not beneficial, and there's none of us have to agree with anybody else here. There's, there's no requirement for that. Uh, the one thing we do want to do is just make sure that people can get the information so they can make decisions for themselves. So I just wanted to say that, uh, obviously now the ban is a reality. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Nobody wants to see anybody um, have their freedom taken from them. They don't want to see people thrown in jail. They don't want to see people beaten, raped, tortured, any of that. Nobody wants to see that. Uh, what people do want is they just want to give uh, Jehovah's Witnesses a chance to examine the evidence for themselves and have a way to make decisions without the undue influence being the factor that it is. So that's my video for this time. Thanks for watching.